Hi, my name's Mark Street and I work for Liberator Limited in the UK and Ireland. I want to talk about a word. Let's see if you can guess what this word is. Any ideas? All these pictures are very different, aren't they? But all these pictures represent exactly the same word. Let me put you out your misery. It. This is widget, min symbols, symbol sticks and board maker. So it. Maybe now you know the word, it kind of makes more sense seeing the picture. You know, whenever I talk about the pronoun it or use it when I'm talking about language implementation, people often say to me, why is it the picture of the sheep? Why is it the picture of the hand? Why is it the picture of the box? The first thing is, how do you draw an it? You can't. If I gave you a choice of drawing a lorry or a car or the word it, you're going to draw the lorry or the car, aren't you? It is a high frequency word. We use it an awful lot. So what I want to do is try and give you ideas about how you can use the word it when you're implementing a language system. In the particular example I'm going to share with you, I'm going to use LAMP Words for Life and I'm going to use that on my iPad. So hopefully now you can see my iPad. Okay, so the first thing I want to make sure I do using Vocabulary Builder, it's let's add the word it in there. There you go. So it is now part of my vocabulary. And by pressing it, the same button twice, which is in fact this button here, it, it, it will always be there. It is accessed by pressing that button twice. No matter what you're saying, where you've previously been, the home screen will produce that unique button in that same place, that same unique motor movement will produce it. In fact, whenever I'm modeling it, I don't refer to the picture. The picture matters more to you than it probably does to the individual. In fact, if I did use the widget, the board maker or the symbol sticks, it doesn't make it any easier. It's still a red box or it's still a finger pointing and it still doesn't mean it. So let me give you an idea. I'm using Vocabulary Builder and I've got, as you'll see, quite a lot of words up here. I could do an activity. Oh, I'm going to take your phone. You can tell me. Stop. Stop. It. Stop it. Give it me back. Give it me back. Stop it. There you go. Tell me. Look at my new phone. Do you like? Like. It. It. Maybe you want. Want. It. It. Don't be afraid to recast and use the word it or to expand the function or length of your sentence when modeling and saying the word it. Shall I put, put it, it in, in, I put it in the box? What is it? I want, want it. it. Maybe you, you want, want it. it. Maybe you want it. Now it is in fact a calculator, but teaching the word calculator at this point, would you rather your child or your adult use the word it, meaning anything, or would you rather them target that specific word calculator that's used so infrequently? Hey, we've got the iPad, what do you want to do? Watch it. Watch it, or maybe want it, or maybe like it, like it. Okay, so you can see that we're using it in combination with lots of words. Hey, get it, get it, and then they're looking at the pen.
That's a total communication approach. You want me to get it? Do you want? Want. It. it. There you go. You can have the pen. So notice when we communicate, we use voice, we use text, we use emojis, we use memes. There's all different ways that we communicate. It's a total communication approach. Oh, it's a lovely scarf. Where did you get it? I like these. I like those. Where did you get it? Where did you get them? So we use the word it. It. Out. It's out. My phone is out the box. You're right. Maybe I need to put, put it, it in the box. In. There you go. Let's get your iPad. It. Off. Oh, it's off. Oh, yeah, it needs charging. We can put. Put. It. It. On. On. Put it on. And we can play with it later on. So there's lots of different ways that you can use it. When you're getting dressed in the morning. Wear. It. Tell me which one you want to wear. Stop. Stop. Wear. It. You want to wear that one? No problem. I don't need to name the items. I could say stop, wear it, put it on, take it off, not it. There's so many great ways to use the word it. So next time you're putting together a core board, make sure the word it is part of that vocabulary. Don't worry about your tables and chairs. Don't worry about your cars and your lorries, your pens and your crayons. We can have it because that word is a really powerful word. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our Liberator Limited YouTube channel. Thank you.